And in fact, the email I just read was one of two emails that he requested the clerk read into the record. Um, so uh, in terms of cease and desist, I, 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 maybe he doesn't want me to let the public know what he's up to. Uh, when he, uh, and what I've described and I feel is a bribe, and I think that uh, I've re received some advice that, yeah, it is a bribe, uh, and I followed that advice and I forwarded it to the DA and AG's office um, for them to, uh, to look in and review. Uh, so um, this is the stuff we, we have to deal with uh, on a regular basis, uh, which is just uh, unfortunate. and. Uh, as I said before, uh, this mayor isn't for sale. Uh, maybe other people are, but I'm not. So free golf cart storage and financially benefiting the city as a quid pro quo or a bribe to get something in return, I I'm not on board with that. Um, it's uh, unethical, illegal in my opinion, and uh, uh, something that should not even be entertained. I know there's council members that uh, at the last meeting and the minutes approved tonight wanted to entertain that. Uh, I don't think that would be appropriate. Uh, one other issue though I, I do wanna bring up is I, I did file a freedom of information request and uh, I did receive uh, uh, stuff uh, not completely from uh, Councilman only. He did say that he wasn't gonna comply with it all but I did receive some stuff from him and, and, and Councilman uh, Hickey. I did receive a letter from Councilman Ruggiero who said that uh, she wasn't going to comply um, in her letter, she said that the uh, recommendation was the city deny. And then when I read the recommendation, it said the city could deny. Uh, but ultimately, the request, uh, even though it was voluminous, uh, you know, can't be denied because of that reason. Uh, so I don't know what is trying to be kept secret or hidden. I don't know if it's part of NDAs. Uh, uh, but uh, it is a, a request for public documents. Uh, I was asked for clarification for dates and times and I gave those clarifications. Uh, I know that there were two other people, the Times and another individual that were also requesting those same documents. Um, I think it's the, the duty of the public officials to follow uh, the law and FOIL requests. That's why it's there that the public receive those documents. Uh, that are not confidential and uh, so that they can have an understanding of what's happening. So not quite sure, um, but uh, I, I know there is a, an appeal process. I don't know how that works because I'm the appeal officer, so I guess I could appeal to myself, at least for the other two, but I don't know how it works for myself. Uh, I could always uh, file what an Article 78 uh, and, and proceed in that route. And uh, um, I don't know if the city attorney has any advice on, on the FOIL request you saw, I believe the letter, um, in terms of who would I appeal to, do I appeal to it myself or uh, do I have to file an Article 78 or what happens if one of the other two parties appeal, it would go to the appeals offers, officer, which is me. Well, it's, I don't have an answer for you right now in terms of, I don't think you can appeal to yourself. Um, so uh, we, we can, if, that, if that's a step that needs to be taken, we can figure out how that gets handled. Thank you. Um, you didn't read the whole thing that I sent you either that came from the uh, yeah. New York State Committee on Open Government. Yeah, and I, I, I read. You said your request was so broad, they did not reasonably describe the records sought due to their scope over a period of several years and a lack of regard to subject matter or content and the assistant director actually oversaw this response back. Well, I don't, I don't have the questions that were submitted, uh, but if you go on, you'll say that this- I sent your request, your original request I sent to the them. The city could deny, um, but you said the city, it was recommended that the city deny. Those are two different issues, but nonetheless, um, I, I, I can appeal. I, I know I uh, gave specific dates and times. I don't know what- Well. They said if you wanted to narrow the scope down, and my response was, and you didn't read that either, was that I would be glad to comply uh, because you named five people in here, um, and this is, this is the, these are the experts on FOIL requests for New York State. So I look to them for their guidance. Thank you. I, I have I, nothing to hide, but. Well, the other council members did submit 
information, so I know one person didn't. Um, and I know also that in there it was a request to delay this until after an election. Uh, that was a, a question. I didn't put that into mind, so I don't know uh, where you're saying that uh, it was uh, strictly based on my request because I certainly didn't mention anything about a, an upcoming election. No, but you're and on a fishing expedition, that's what. You're hoping uh, to find something to use between now and the election, and that's just how you are. You Everything that you do I, I are for political reasons. Councilwoman, I didn't interrupt you, uh, so please, you had your time. I should, uh, I should have a chance, and actually we don't have, in our meeting rules, we have nothing listed under new business. There are no rules for it. So, uh, but if you want to keep going on and accusing me, that's fine, because that's who you are. You're just very vindictive person, but go ahead. I don't know how vindictive of asking for records of which somebody wants to hide. So You didn't give um, a reason for what? Two years worth between five people. You didn't ask the councilwoman. How do we not know that she might have had communication with Mr. Lundy? Um, maybe not. But the fact is that you didn't list her, so it almost looked like it was preferential treatment. For the record, I have not had <laughs> communication with Mr. Lundy. Okay. I have no. not had any communication with Mr. Uh, Sameo. I have not. I would have no records to provide. So uh, again, um, public documents requested for uh, my review, of which uh, I'm entitled under FOIL. Uh, one member um, didn't want to respond at all, and, and there will be an appeal process on that that I can get well, with you on. And last year, you spied on our those. emails. You didn't even ask for a FOIL request. You spied on them. You um, asked the city manager to go to IT to look for specific emails without our knowledge. I give you credit, at least this time you did a FOIL request. Actually, again, that's a false statement, but you can go on. It's your, your world that you're living in. So um, I didn't ask the city IT officer to spy on emails. I did ask uh, when an email from the city clerk uh, who had an issue and concern and was sent to us as her employer and boss, and she expressed that concern, how, again, ironically, Mr. Sameo <coughs> got a copy of her email. And, and that was confidential, because that was executive session material. That you was came not executive here, session material. We were in executive session how to did, discuss so it. So the question was, how the did- The city employee was involved, and you came out here and made it public at a disregard to the city employee. Okay. Councilwoman, again, I know you like to interrupt me constantly, but again, it was an executive session because Mr. Sameo, Phil Sameo, was not part of executive session. He got the clerk's email. Someone forwarded it to him, and that email was only forwarded by one person on this council, according to IT, and that happened to be you. That's right. That's right. So I how did it Mr. Sameo get that email, I wonder? Anybody could copy and paste it. I, I guess they could have, but... The reality is this, um, for session. some reason he seems to be involved when it comes to certain members of getting this information, and, and in my FOIL request, <coughs> I, I, there's options I can follow. There's only one person that didn't comply with anything, and uh, that's the same person that signs NDAs and doesn't want to hear from the public, so, okay. so be it. Whatever. With that. I move to we go into executive session yes. to discuss proposed, pending, or current litigation. I, I'd also Second. I, I'd also ask that it be included that the uh, s sale or purchase of uh, real property be included on that. Also add the sale or purchase of real property for executive session. Second. Moved and seconded to go into executive session to discuss uh, Pending current or proposed litigation and the purchase or sale of real property. Call the question. Councilmember Hickey? Yes. Councilmember Only? Yes. Councilmember Pierce? Yes. Councilmember Ruggiero? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. 